Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Meralda and you are watching Alvo Plants. So today I wanted to show you, as I promised, my balcony because I have made a makeover this summer and I am pretty proud of how it turned out. So I do have quite a lot of plants in my balcony. Some of the plants that I like to keep outside are hoyas, succulents, different begonias and other kinds of uh, house plants. Hoyas in particular, I have seen that really do enjoy this kind of conditions. They really enjoy the extra warmth and extra light that they receive in here. Also, I wanted to add that uh, because it is a balcony and it is outside, you may be able to hear different kind of noises like uh, moving cars or children playing or, I don't know, maybe music. I'm so sorry for that. I hope the microphone can cancel as much as possible, but uh, it's just a warning. So if you are interested in all the different kinds of plants that I have in here and how I style them, then just keep on watching. So guys, this is my balcony. In this space we have created two seated areas. These are all made brand new and to fit the space. This was a very narrow space and it has a very <laughs> difficult shape like a triangle and we made this table. And then we also created this two seats so we can enjoy the balcony I do have two tables in here in this one it's our avocado plant that we have grown from seed it took a lot of time to create roots and to start growing but now it's quite established it has pushed out a lot of leaves during the summer. In here I do have my jade plants. They are two and the idea with this is to create a kind of bonsai from them so they can grow and become like small trees because jade plants have the ability to take that kind of shape. I also added some other succulents down there, just to give a bit more interest. So this is my Peperomia watermelon. I used to have it inside, but it wasn't growing like too, too much. I bring it outside now and I think that it likes very much the heat and the light that it gets in here. I do have a very small Haworthia propagation in here. Behind the curtains of String of Hearts there is a Hoya pubicalix which I also received some cuttings and now I'm growing into plant. Here I do have some Echeveria setosas. It has grown a bit leggy, but I really like that it looks like a small teddy bear. It's so fuzzy and cute. Here I do have two propagations of string of hearts, variegated ones. I really enjoy propagating this plant. And I have also sold a couple of propagations here in Albania because people really do like them. This is a mother of thousands or mother of millions. I don't really know. In this corner here I do have my Tradiscentia nanook. Coming back to the shelf, starting from the bottom, I do have my monkey tail cactus in here 
I positioned it in this space because it gets a lot of light and also direct light. When I bought it, it was pretty, pretty small, but now this summer it has grown very long and it's also pushing out a small baby. Yeah, it's quite... It's quite a beautiful plant and very unique. I didn't expect it to grow this fast, but it surprised me a lot. Next, I do have this Hoya Crinkle 8 in here, which is a propagation and it doesn't need a lot of water and it really likes the heat and the sun now in the summer and the balcony. My Hoyas do really well in here. This is a Christmas cactus. It's a red one. I bought it together with another one that I have that is pink and I separated them into different pots. It's pushing out these new leaves now. During the summer it grows new leaves and in the winter it blooms. This is a Hoya Waietii. One of my friends uh, gifted me some cuttings and it is a bit difficult for me to grow, to propagate, to propagate Hoyas. And with this one it was a roller coaster as well. Um, it started growing, then rotting, growing, rotting, and now finally I put it in soil and outside in my balcony it's doing very well. It has all this new growth. Going up, I do have my regular string of hearts in here. I recently chopped it because it was even longer because I want to make a fuller basket of it. I will come back to this. Here is my other Christmas cactus. This is the pink one, which is quite bigger. It's pushing out all these new leaves and some of them have got a little pink from the sun. She does make very beautiful blooms in the winter. Maybe I will put a picture. In here I do have a simple Hoya carnosa. I don't know exactly what species or the colors of the blooms. It's a simple one. Uh, it was also propagation and now it's growing. This. this one is my variegated string of hearts, which is one of my favorite plants. It grows very well for me. I have chopped it like... <laughs> I have chopped it a lot, a lot of times and made a lot of propagations from her. And she's still thriving. I love all the different shades of pink, of white, of bluish green that it has on its leaves. Some of them in here are greener and also a bit of yellow. And it also creates these small cute little blooms. Some people don't like it. I find them quite pretty and I do not cut them. They stay in the plant for some time and they fall by themselves. So yeah, this is my swing of hearts, variegated. This is a Dracaena marginata. It was a gift. It was pretty small, but still not a big plant. It doesn't grow so fast. 
and it has some brown tips from the hot summer. Up there I do have my pitcher plant. It doesn't have any pitchers now because they all fell off from the winter and I also changed the planter. I put it in this uh, uh, self-watering system. If I show you. So I put it uh, in uh, moss now. It used to be in this pit uh, pit moss uh, substrate and I saw online that they really enjoy moss so I put them in sphagnum moss and it is growing its foliage but uh, it doesn't give me any pictures for at the moment hopefully it will give me new ones soon because they are very pretty down here I do have my Tradescantia zebrina These all are new growth from the summer. This plant grows really fast. Here I do have a mounted orchid. This is a mini Phalaenopsis mini mark. It has white and yellow flowers, small flowers, very pretty. And I mounted it in this park with sphagnum moss and I also put some um, Spanish moss Tilansdia it's an air plant so that's that in here I do have uh, my platycerium staghorn fern it was a baby and I also mounted it by myself in this piece of bark with sphagnum moss and it's also like giving me some new growth so yeah these are my mounted plants at the moment I do not have any other ones but I really enjoy them and I think I will make more in the future coming down here this is a part of the balcony that takes like full sun so it's very hot in here and a lot of light uh, this year I planted some geraniums and pel pelar pelargoniums I don't know how it's how it's said but uh, yeah I thought that they were quite easy to take care of because here in Albania they use them a lot but I was a bit mistaken because there is this butterfly that lays her eggs and they become worms and they eat these particular plants they like to eat them so I have had that problem now and this one this used to be a very big and pretty geranium but now it's like not looking so good in here I do have some uh, carnations and also other geraniums this one is in bloom at the moment and also this one I love their blooms they are so pretty This is like a um, miniature geranium, I think, Pelar pelargonium, I don't know the difference. But this has very small leaves, they also have a kind of smell, very nice smell, citrusy. And it has this purple, small, delicate flowers, very pretty. Other type of geraniums, these ones are the ones that trail and it has also quite pretty flowers yeah. I do have also some succulents in here 
I don't know their name because I'm not uh, I'm not so fond of succulents. They sometimes do bad, bad, very bad with me. Sometimes they do good. So this used to be very small when I received them first. They also were a gift from someone, and they have grown a lot since then. I have also used some macrame hangers in here, which I have made by myself. So the first one is a lipstick plant and it bloomed a lot this summer. But now all the blooms are falling down and it is growing a lot of new leaves. I find that this particular plant enjoys a bit of more sun, just like my other Hoyas, which I have here. This is my Crimson Queen, which has grown a lot. It's pushing out also new tendrils and new leaves. In here I do have my pink princess, the new growth is pink when it first comes out. I do also have my uh, Hindu rope Hoya in here. my Hoya Memoria which is a new addition in my plant collection and it's a bit of a smaller pot but it's growing out a lot of new leaves and a lot of new tendrils and this is my other lipstick plant this is part of the other one that I showed you before but I divided them because they were pretty big pot when I received them Coming down here, I have also other succulents. I don't know their exact names, so sorry about that. In this part, this I will be, this ones I will be redoing them. At the moment, I do have some aloes, some succulents. In here, I have my two rubber plants, ficus rubber plants. I have the variegated one and the simple green. I have potted them together to make a bushier plant. They get, the variegated one gets a bit uh, sunburned from time to time, but uh, it's not something that really bothers me a lot. This is the green one. Here I do have uh, my pink dragon alocasia. It uh, went dormant for a long period of time and finally this is the first leaf that put out this summer. And it's also produced me a small baby. In here I do have my Coalocasia, Coalocasia. Um, these are the two types I have. <laughs> Here in Albania they are called Eva and Adam. Um, they are quite similar but also 
different. This one has longer stems and smaller leaves and this one has really big leaves. In here is one of my begonias, angel wing begonias. This is this has grown a lot. It's also producing some flowers. The new leaves when they come out, when they are sun stressed, they are a bit pink. Here I do have my Berpo succulents, they are quite cute and fuzzy. This was also a gift from one of my friends. Here I do have my Zizi plant. I have always had some problems with this one since I bought it. It rotted like two times already tried and saved it each time and now I put it outside so it can grow a bit faster but there are some plants that uh, they can be known as uh, easy plants but sometimes that particular plant is not um, doesn't have very good genetics and it gives problems and I think that this ZZ plant is one of those Here I do have another begonia. This is, I don't know, a Rex begonia, but I don't know the exact name. It's tiger something, maybe. If I find it out, I will write it. Yes. Um, sometimes I like this plant. Sometimes like it becomes a bit ugly. I don't know. In here, I do have my begonia, Leucerna. It is an angel wing begonia with very big leaves. And it is producing a lot of flowers now. I do have flowers here, in there, down here, and also down here. So. This begonia also suffered a lot from powdery mildew during the winter. Um, I have... Uh, uh, from my experience, powdery mildew really likes begonias with big, uh, with big leaves. And this one was badly affected. And Shanti always stalks me when I'm filming, so... Shanti! <laughs> okay. In here I have potted up a jasmine plant so it can climb this kind of ladder in here. I have also a passiflora in this part growing, but um, it has suffered a bit because it used to be in another spot and I've transported it twice before putting it in here and it's not so happy. Going up, I do have a beef stick begonia in here. This one also produces very nice pink flowers. Here it's my oxalis. I got a very small bulb, bulb uh, from my friend and now it's producing all these other leaves and I think it's multiplying. 
uh, during the summer it grows pretty fast and it also produces these cute flowers. Uh, here it's another begonia and uh, I think that this one is my favorite. I really enjoy her dark leaves and they feel a bit suede when you touch and velvety. So this begonia, um, I took a very small cutting when I was camping last summer and uh, for one year it uh, grew this much. So I'm pretty happy with how it, uh, it has grown. Um, I love the shape of the leaves. <laughs> it reminds me of a bat, very gothy. And the new leaves, when they come out, the spots are a bit more pink. And uh, the back is uh, totally red. I will put the name on the screen because I don't remember now. I think that I found it. But yes, this is my favorite begonia. I do have a small uh, Sansevieria moonshine pop in here growing. Next to it is my polka dot begonia. Um, I don't know, I have a love-hate relationship with this plant. Sometime I was thinking to maybe sell or, or get rid of it. And then uh, when spring comes, it uh, becomes very pretty again. So, yeah, when it's growing well, it's like very pretty, but uh, it is very problematic sometimes. At the moment, it's okay you can still stay in the house. <laughs> I do have uh, another Sansevieria pop in here that I got from a friend. And this uh, purple passion uh, plant, which is growing up. I didn't know the growth pattern of this plant, but sometimes it can become very leggy, so it needs pruning often. Up there I do have a Skin Depths Silvery Anne, which was also a gift from a friend. She gifted me some cuttings and they have done very well. They have grown roots. I have potted them and now it's becoming a full plant, which is very pretty. Next to it, it's another small propagation of lipstick plant. The, I think that this ver var variety with uh, big leaves, green ones, is called Mona Lisa. And here it's a variegated lipstick plant, which was also another gift. And it was a propagation. And finally it's growing and becoming a plant. I do really enjoy this one. Next it's my spider plant, which is producing a lot of small pups now. And that, I think, is the last plant in here.
So that was it for this uh, balcony tour. I hope you enjoyed watching it. The plants due to the different heat waves that we have had this year are in uh, not so much of a good condition as I hoped for. But nonetheless, I really enjoy keeping them in this space and while relaxing in the balcony, watching them and it adds a lot of character to the space. If you like this video then please give it a thumbs up, maybe you will want to subscribe because I am going to try and post more plenty content in the future and also you can check out my Instagram with the same name Alboplan because I do really enjoy sharing uh, photos of my houseplants there and we can also keep in contact. Thank you very much again and uh, wish you the best and hope to see you soon. Bye!